Hello, it's Mark here from Lightmap. Jewellery photographers will often use tracing paper wrapped around their subject in a cone or a cylinder to diffuse the lighting and to diffuse the reflections so you don't get all of these detailed reflections from the studio or the environment. So here we have a, a set of lighting on top of a HDRI map base and you can see kind of colors and reflections uh, in the subject here. So we're going to use the diffusion blur in the new version of HDR Light Studio and we're going to replicate the effect of that tracing paper that will diffuse all of this lighting. So first we take select all of the lighting right click and merge it to a composite. We'll put this light at the bottom here and then all we do is we go to the filter setting on the composite in the light properties and we change this to diffusion. Now our lighting will be diffused as if it was being viewed through some kind of substrate light tracing paper and by changing the percentage we can change the diffusion effect until it looks like something that we want which is about I would say about a setting of 10 and you can see now we have this really pleasing lighting effect the great thing is we can go into this light and we can still make edits with the lighting design so for example if we wanted to make one of these lights I don't know a color you wouldn't but just to show you a color we've changed that color but you can see that the actual lighting is still being diffused it's still being blurred when it is being shared with your 3d software so we're only seeing the non blurred version on the canvas while we're working on it but actually this is the version that's being uh, is lighting the shot so I'll change this color back to white we can move the lights inside of here if we want to yet we get that live preview of the blurred version even though everything is totally editable I even change the brightness and then for a final effect we've got this base which is blurred but if you had we put a round light at the top here this is almost like we've got a the top of the the, the tracing paper section is open and it sees out to a dark area so that's not included so we're just using this round light to replicate that and you can see adding that little dark area adds a bit of interest to some of the reflections around here so this is how in HDR Light Studio Xenon Drop 2 you can replicate the effect of diffusing tracing paper wrapped around your scene